Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we explore the stories of the prophets and the people of God in the Bible. In this video, we will tell you the story of the prophet Jeremiah, who lived in the last days of the southern kingdom of Judah and warned of God's judgment and Babylonian captivity. It covers his life, ministry, message, and death, as well as some of his prophecies and teachings. Let's begin. Jeremiah's Background and Calling Jeremiah was born around 650 BC, during the reign of King Josiah, who was one of the few good kings of Judah. He was the son of a priest named Hilkiah, from the town of Anathoth, about three miles northeast of Jerusalem. Jeremiah belonged to the tribe of Benjamin, which was almost wiped out by the other tribes of Israel in a civil war, Judges 20-21. Jeremiah was not just an ordinary prophet. He was set apart by God before he was even born. God told him, Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, before you were born I set you apart, I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah 1 verse 5. Jeremiah felt inadequate and unworthy of such a high calling. He said, Alas, Sovereign Lord, I do not know how to speak, I am too young. Jeremiah 1 verse 6, But God reassured him and said, Do not say, I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you. Jeremiah 1 verses 7 to 8, God also gave Jeremiah a sign of his authority. He touched his mouth and said, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Jeremiah 1 verses 9 to 10. Jeremiah's Ministry and Message. Jeremiah began his ministry around 627 BC, when he was about 23 years old. He prophesied for 40 years, under four kings of Judah, Josiah, Jehoahaz, Jehoiakim, and Zedekiah. He also witnessed the rise and fall of the Assyrian and Babylonian empires, and the destruction of Jerusalem and the temple in 586 BC. Jeremiah's ministry was not easy. He faced opposition, persecution, and ridicule from the people, the priests, the prophets, and the kings. He was called a traitor, a liar, a madman, and a troublemaker. He was beaten, imprisoned, thrown into a cistern, and threatened with death. He was lonely, rejected, and misunderstood. He often complained to God and wished he had never been born. He was known as the weeping prophet, because he shed many tears over the sins and sufferings of his people. Jeremiah's message was not popular. He called for repentance and warned of disaster. He exposed the idolatry, injustice, and immorality of Judah. He denounced the false prophets who spoke lies and gave false hopes. He declared that God's judgment was inevitable and that Babylon would conquer Judah and take the people into exile for 70 years. He urged the people to surrender to Babylon and accept God's discipline, rather than resist and face destruction. Jeremiah's message was also not without hope. He promised that God would not abandon his people or his covenant. He announced that God would bring back a remnant from exile and restore them to their land. He revealed that God would make a new covenant with his people, based on grace and forgiveness, and write his law on their hearts. He foretold that God would raise up a righteous branch from the line of David, who would reign as king and save his people. He spoke of the Messiah, who would be called the Lord our righteous Savior. Jeremiah's Prophecies and Teachings Jeremiah's prophecies and teachings are recorded in the book of Jeremiah, which is the longest book in the Bible, with 52 chapters and 1,364 verses. The book is not arranged in chronological order, but rather in thematic sections. It contains historical narratives, biographical accounts, poetic oracles, symbolic actions, and personal confessions. It also includes the Book of Lamentations, which is a collection of five poems that express Jeremiah's grief over the fall of Jerusalem. Some of the most important prophecies and teachings of Jeremiah are, the prophecy of the almond branch and the boiling pot, Jeremiah 1 verses 11 to 16. This was the first vision that God gave to Jeremiah, to show him that he was watching over his word to fulfill it, and that he was bringing disaster from the north, which was Babylon. The prophecy of the broken covenant, Jeremiah 11 verses 1 to 17. This was a message that God gave to Jeremiah, to remind him and the people of the covenant that God made with their ancestors at Mount Sinai, and how they had broken it by worshipping other gods. God said that he would bring a curse on them and hand them over to their enemies. The prophecy of the linen belt, Jeremiah 13 verses 1 to 11. This was a symbolic action that God told Jeremiah to perform, to illustrate how he had bound Judah to himself like a belt, but they had become useless and spoiled by following their own ways. God said that he would ruin their pride and glory. The prophecy of the potter and the clay, Jeremiah 18 verses 1 to 12. This was a lesson that God taught Jeremiah, to show him how he had the sovereign right and power to shape the destiny of nations and individuals, according to his will and purpose. God said that he could change his plans of blessing or judgment, depending on the response of the people. The prophecy of the broken jar, Jeremiah 19 verses 1 to 15. 
This was another symbolic action that God told Jeremiah to perform, to demonstrate how he would smash Judah and Jerusalem like a jar, because of their wickedness and violence. God said that he would make them a horror and a reproach to all the nations. The prophecy of the yoke, Jeremiah 27 verses 1 to 22, this was a sign that God told Jeremiah to wear, to represent the yoke of Babylon that God would put on the necks of Judah and the surrounding nations. God said that he had given all the lands to King Nebuchadnezzar, and that anyone who rebelled against him would be punished. The prophecy of the letter to the exiles, Jeremiah 29 verses 1 to 23, this was a letter that Jeremiah wrote to the first group of exiles who were taken to Babylon in 597 BC, including King Jehoiakim and the royal officials. Jeremiah told them to settle down and seek the welfare of the city where they lived, and to pray for it. He also told them not to listen to the false prophets who said that they would return soon. He assured them that God had plans to prosper them and not to harm them, and that he would bring them back after 70 years. The Prophecy of the New Covenant, Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 34. This was a glorious promise that God gave to Jeremiah, to reveal his ultimate intention for his people. God said that he would make a new covenant with them, unlike the old one that they had broken. He said that he would put his law in their minds and write it on their hearts. He said that he would be their God and they would be his people. He said that he would forgive their sins and remember them no more. The Prophecy of the Righteous Branch, Jeremiah 33 verses 14 to 16. This was a wonderful prophecy that God gave to Jeremiah, to announce his future plan for his people. God said that he would fulfill his promise to David and raise up a righteous branch from his line, who would reign as king and do what is just and right. God said that he would bring security and peace to his people. God said that he would give this king a name, the Lord our righteous Savior. Jeremiah's death and legacy. Jeremiah's death is not recorded in the Bible, but according to tradition, he died in Egypt, where he was taken by a group of rebellious Hebrews who fled from Babylon after the assassination of Gedaliah, the governor appointed by Nebuchadnezzar. Some sources say that he was stoned to death by these Hebrews, who resented his warnings and rebukes. Jeremiah's legacy is that he was faithful to God and his word, even in the midst of suffering and opposition. He was a man of courage and conviction, who spoke the truth without compromise. He was a man of compassion and sorrow, who wept over the fate of his people. He was a man of hope and vision, who saw beyond the present crisis to the future glory. He was a man of God, who loved God with all his heart, soul, and strength. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. We hope you learned something new and interesting about the prophet Jeremiah. Stay tuned for more videos on the prophets and the people of God in the Bible. Until then, may God bless.